Hello, this is a new version of my Super Mario 64 color code generator. So when you download the file from our site, you need to extract the files to somewhere on your hard drive and then just simply double click on the executable file to start the program. No need for installing, just double click on the executable file and it will start up. So here we have the Mario color code generator for Super Mario 64. People have done used the previous version or already know what it looks like uh, then click on the different Mario parts you want to change the color for and it bring up this paint like color box to allow you to change the color and click OK and the Mario part will change then for each Mario part you want to change the color off simply click on the add button to build up the code uh, for each Mario part you want to change so you see that for each Mario part the code gets longer and longer as each part the colors you selected are added to the code um, if you make a mistake want to start again you can simply click on a button to reset all the colors to the default colors the normal colors that Mario would have uh, then when you've done all the Mario parts you want to change the color off and you've all added them don't forget to select your region power or NTSC uh, you can simply, simply copy to the clipboard and if you're using an emulator uh, like Project 64 as you see here you can easily paste the code into the cheat box as you see here don't forget don't forget to give it an, a name at paste in the code and then add it and when it's added you just simply click the checkbox to select the chi and then return to the game and you should see that Mario's colors have started after you've loaded the file as you see here in this version the colors look more like how they should do more like how you have how you selected them using the program um, don't forget this easter egg same easter egg as before but more, more to it now um, and just to show you that I programmed this using Visual C++ and .NET Framework so if you don't already have the, not the .NET Framework you need to download it from Microsoft's website and install it. Uh, bye for now. Bye.